not reading the scriptures in this Bible, you got a problem, man. You're doing something wrong. If you can't run this thing down line upon line, you need to skip all the other stuff right there. Don't do nothing. Because you don't want that verse to hit you. Because you know that verse is about you. You got a problem, man. Read on that. Jeremiah 13 and 8, right? Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah. After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah. Pride. Hold what you got. Lose this for uh, Jeremiah 23 for a second. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 10. Read it. Jeremiah 13 and 9, yes? Jeremiah 13 on, uh. and 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my word. This evil people, hear that? Let's understand that, man. This evil people which refuses to hear my word. That's what make them evil. That's what make the people wicked. They don't want to hear this, man. That's what make the people wicked. The evil people which don't want to hear. Read it again, huh? Jeremiah 13, 10. Yes? This evil people which refuse to hear my word. Which, word? which walk in the imagination of their heart. And walk after other powers to serve them and do worship them. That's a problem. Which walk out the imagination of their own mind and do walk out the other powers, other deities, other idols, and you serve them. Talk about you're a Baptist and you're a Protestant, you're a Episcopalian, and you're some Catholic, or you're some Muslim, or Rasta, or whatever. Those are other vibrations, man. None of your stuff is in the Bible. You can't run around and call yourself all these names and it don't match up with this word. That's a beef, man. That's static. That's a problem. And the Lord got it for you, man. Tell me what you got, huh? Jeremiah 2, 19. Yes? Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. That stuff gonna come back at you, man. That stuff gonna come back and hit you in the head. It's gonna smack you, man. Guaranteed. Because you're a liar and you're a hypocrite. And the most I want somebody to show you that, man. Show you this stuff right out of the Bible. Read it. And thy backslidings shall reprove thee. That's gonna reprove you because you don't have no answers for your congregation, man. You running people, people listen to you, and they follow you, and you tell them you're Baptist, you're Catholic, but you can't give them no answers. The Lord is coming back to judge the nations, not no religions. So what you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that when that comes down? What you going to tell the people, man, who be calling themselves Catholic and, and Episcopalian, Episcopalian? What is an Episcopalian? Anyway. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, like, Episcopalian. Listen, I we didn't forget about you preaching on YouTube. And yeah, the problem we got with, with uh, uh, the gathering of Christ is my man, we met these brothers. Out of respect because we sat down and tried to fellowship together, I'm not even going to call you by name. But you're telling lies, huh? The gathering of Christ is getting worse and worse and worse. See that going from right to left. It's getting worse, huh? It's getting bad. The lies are no good, and it's getting worse. We're going to bring a scripture on that, man. Hold this. Give me 1 Timothy 2.12, I think I want. Yeah, 1 Timothy 2.12, huh? Show me what you got. Jeremiah 2.19. Yeah, read it, huh? Thy own wickedness shall correct thee. Thy own wickedness shall correct thee. And thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Thy backsliding, they're going to reprove you, man. Know therefore and see right? that it is an evil thing. It's an evil thing. And bitter that and thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power. That you are this bitter. That you is an evil thing and it's bitter. That you left off from this word, man, read it. And that my fear is not in thee. And you don't have the fear of the most high, the heavenly father in you. You don't even care what you do. You don't care what you say. You just run it anyway. And you don't care what the Lord got to say. That's evil, man. And that's bitter. And that's going to come back at you. Show me what you got, out. First Timothy 2, 12. Uh, give me, give me, give me to me 12. 12 uh, Job 12 chapter. Job the 12 chapter, chapter 14 verse. Bring it back to what you have. What you got? Give me Ecclesiastes 10. Give me 10 and 7. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Check this out, man. As the most I said, if they were not here, just like the linen ephod, I mean the ephod, I mean the girdle, uh, the girdle that Jeremiah buried in the, in the Euphrates, so much the rock, it came back marred, good for nothing, profitable for nothing. That's what the Most High said going to do with the pride of your children of Judah. All you jokers, call yourself priests on YouTube. You run around and you stand in the street like we in the street. And you're blowing out to people and you're cursing people out and you're making this thing bad. 
Hey, look back. This is your vibration here. The Lord going to bring you jokers down because you got too much pride, man. Too much pride. You're not reading the scriptures, but you got a lot to say. But you got a lot to say. Show me what you got out. Ecclesiasticus 10 verse 7. Yes. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man. The pride is hateful before the Heavenly Father and man. Nobody likes it. Nobody like no proud person come in. You know everything. You can't shut it down. Brother said, we, we fellowship, man. Your brother said, man, you guys think you know everything. Well, you think I think everything going to change. You guys going to change everything. It's not about us, man. We brought the Bible. It shows you what we know and understand in the Bible. If the Lord give us gifts and make us get some breakdowns, we thank Him for it. Don't get vexed at it. I mean, jump on the bandwagon. What you talking about? Who are we? We ain't nobody. Who are we but men? Jump on the... Get, you got a Bible, man. You get vexed at us for it. We're going to stick you out, man. We're going to bring it out for you. Because about this war, it's not about us. It's not about you. Since you got in the way. But since you got in the way, check this word out. Ecclesiasticus 10 7. You get in the way, this word coming at you. Read it. Pride is hateful before the most high. And man. Right. And by both do it one commit iniquity. And by both do one commit wickedness. Iniquity, man. You couldn't commit wickedness if you got pride. You can't hear nobody say nothing that you're supposed to correct. That's a problem. Read on. Ecclesiasticus 10 8. Yes. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Because of because of riches. Because of what we're gonna Ecclesiastes 10 and 7, 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. It goes from one people to another, man. Because of deceitfulness, unrighteousness, right? Hold on, let's let me see the Job. Job Pierre, bring this here. Yes. Job 12 and 12. Right. With the ancient. Excuse me. With the ancient is wisdom and length of days. Right. Understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He have counsel and understanding. This is the most high power. This is the heavenly father. He is the ancient. And with him are all the breakdowns. Read on. Behold. He behold. He breaketh down. And it cannot be built again. Like we just read. Through unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit. Is the kingdom transferred from one, from one people unto another. Here the Lord said, he break it down. He ain't lifted up. This is the most time that makes his decision. He said who gets in and who gets out. Who rules and who doesn't rule. Read on. Behold, he break it down.